Coming up on Around Kern County, the fire department is about to kick off another academy for recruits. We're giving you a look at how KCFD is preparing the next generation of local firefighters. And an exciting project is coming to a close. We're showing you the unveiling of our historic adobe house when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. The Kern County Fire Department is getting ready to start another recruit academy. This week, 48 potential firefighters joined KCFD for their orientation. This 24-week academy officially begins June 6th and will teach recruits every aspect of firefighting, including equipment operation, rescue tools and procedures, wildland firefighting, and hazardous materials training. When the academy is complete, graduates will work in fire stations across our county as probationary firefighters. The fire department says recruits are expected to achieve a 90% or higher in all testing throughout the academy. Because while tools and tactics may change over time, their standards do not. KCFD says it is their duty to protect and serve our community, and residents deserve the very best firefighters protecting them. And in addition to getting new talent, KCFD brought home some new equipment this week. 19 new fire engines were ordered for the department, and seven arrived this week and were delivered to stations across our county. These updated engines are durable with high output diesel engines, carry 750 gallons of water, and are able to pump 1,500 gallons of water per minute. Providing tools like this to KCFD helps their department protect and serve our community, a commitment we truly value. We're celebrating the reopening of Kern County's historic Adobe House at the Kern River Parkway Nature Center. This week, Supervisor Mike Maggard of District 3 held an unveiling ceremony in Hart Memorial Park to show off the building's renovations. The structure was built in the 1930s as a residence for Hart Park's caretaker. Now, more than 80 years later, the public will be able to learn from and enjoy this piece of local history. It's both a pleasure and a real challenge to do these kind of things. If you look in this crowd, there are people that are drastically different from one another. But the great thing about this park and about the Kern River Corridor is it is something about which we all have the same vision. We all want it to be beautiful. We all want it to be the most that it can be. These renovations were made possible by our partnerships with community organizations, such as the Kern River Parkway Foundation and Sierra Club, as well as community development block grant funds. Be sure to head out to Hart Park and enjoy this new attraction. And for some more good news at Hart Park, this week, the Kern County Board of Supervisors approved building a children's adventure play area at the northeast corner of the park adjacent to the Kern River. The county will use State of California Parks and Rec grant funding to build this project, designed to bring joy to families at Hart Park and keep children safe by providing an alternative place to play outside of the Kern River. This play area will replace the existing equipment, add a renovated restroom, rehab the existing picnic area, and will have design features such as a splash pad, special sensory equipment, and access paths. We'll be sure to keep you updated on this project as design and construction begins. And we're ending today by celebrating an exciting event happening right now at one of our local parks. The Lightning in a Bottle Music Festival is underway at Buena Vista Lake, drawing thousands of people to Kern County. Lightning in a Bottle first came to Kern County in 2019, attracting music and art lovers to a weekend of entertainment that produced an impact of nearly $6 million on our local economy. Now, following the COVID-19 pandemic, the Kern County Planning Commission gave the green light for this festival to return to Buena Vista Lake for the next five years, which was approved by the Kern County Board of Supervisors. This year's headliners include Glass Animals, Big Wild, and Purity Ring. 
The festival also includes seminars, yoga, and art. For more information, please visit libfestival.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.